What is going on everybody? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Gus Noah and today I'm going to be showing you all tutorial number four. The topic that I'm going to be showing you all today is called frame blocking. It's a more complicated transition to do but when done properly it's a very seamless one that you can add to your videos. The first step to doing this transition is inside the camera. So when you're filming, you're going to want to keep in mind to have an object in front of it that fills the full frame. It could be a person, a pole, a car, whatever you want it to be, as long as it fills the full frame. The next step after that is, as you're filming, to go from left to right or right to left, passing that object completely. And then after that, you take it into Premiere Pro, and the part that's passing, you're going to be masking that out to reveal the second shot. So now I'm going to take you into Premiere to show you how to do this transition. So now that we're in Premiere, make sure you have the two shots you want to use on your timeline. Place the shot with the object passing the frame first and above the second clip. So here's the first clip with the map. We're going to want to drag it up to the second layer right there. Now we're going to want to look for where the map completely blocks the lower frame, which is right around there. So now let's grab the second clip and drag it underneath to that point. So as the map is passing up, it's going to be revealing our second shot in this area. So that's what we're going to be masking out. We're going to be following this line on the map with the mask. So select the first clip, go up to video effects and down to opacity. You're going to see this little pen tool right here and you're going to want to click that to create a mask. Now the next step is to just draw the mask by following the line of the map. I'm just going to do a rough mask so I can show you guys the basics of this transition. I'm not, you could take more time on your own to get it cleaner, but right now I'm going to just show you how it's done real quick. Now that we have the mask drawn already, let's go back to video effects and down to where you see mask one and underneath it, you're going to see mask path. Right next to you, you're going to see a little stopwatch and you're going to want to click that to create a keyframe for that path. So as you go on and you're readjusting the mask, you're gonna see keyframes pop up and that's it, saving that position of that keyframe for that mask. So as you go along, you're gonna be going frame by frame readjusting. So that's important to make sure the mask path is activated for the keyframes. Otherwise this transition won't work. So let's go to around the end where the map is almost out of the frame and let's readjust the mask. Okay, now that we have the be around the beginning and the end almost done with the masking, you're going to see it's going to be following the map just a little bit, but not perfect. So what you're going to have to do now is go frame by frame readjusting the points to make sure it follows the map perfectly. Okay, so now I went frame by frame readjusting the mask and this is how it should look after you readjust. Now you see how the mask is following the map. Okay, let me turn off the mask real quick so we can see what it looks like. See it again. And as you see as the map goes up, it reveals the second shot underneath. Now, that's how you do a frame block. You could take your more time into doing the mask to make it cleaner. And another thing that I also do that helps to make the mask uh, smoother, I go back to video effects, back down to mask one, and you're gonna see mask feather. And it starts at around 10 and I put it to around 15 to 20 to kind of soften the edges of the lines. So let's put it at 15. And it just smoothens it out a little bit and the more higher high, and the higher and higher you go the more dramatic the blur would be so that's how you basically do frame blocking and if this tutorial helped you in any way please subscribe and like i will be trying to do a tutorial week and thank you for watching